We're finally back with the next section in the Halo Firebase series. So this is a tricky one because this is kind of from a past series that I don't do anymore, which is the uh, non-scale Halo build. However, Firebase is uh, something that was never completely finished. You know, we did pretty much every building except the reactor and the air pad. So I just want to finish this off. Uh, I mean, to be honest, the Firebase never really has kind of like a set scale. Because it's from Halo Wars, a lot of the stuff is changed in scale. Like the Scarab is like the same model from Halo 3, but it's probably about four times, uh, what, four times less the size of what it is in Halo 3. So, you know, it's it's not really got a scale, uh, or not a canon scale anyway. I don't know why I said it like that, but you know what I mean, canon. But not the thing that fires the, uh, the established uh, law, basically. So, yeah, this Firebase series is kind of... Uh, exempt from the rule of like set scale that I follow now so it is technically still um, kind of part of the real series so yeah the firebase is, is still um, is still part of the ongoing series so just to clear that up but the reactor anyway so this thing is not too difficult in terms of a uh, firebase building it's it's just straight up building really it's not like the vehicle depot where there was like underground stuff uh, it's just pretty simple, obviously not much on it, and you can easily change it to be a single reactor by just removing one of the uh, one of the reactor towers. So yeah, um, in terms of the building style used here, this is pretty much up to date in terms of my building standard. It may be very, very slightly outdated with some of the material choices, but it fits with the other uh, buildings. So yeah, that's all that matters really. Um, so yeah. I think the only thing that could have been used here is concrete, because I don't think concrete was out when I uh, made this. So yeah, um, like I did with the supply pad and vehicle depot, I think uh, you can just switch out some of the colours for concrete if you really want to. Um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, it looks pretty nice, and again, as with the other ones, there is like no interior in this, so uh, you know, it's just a it's just a display object really. But yeah, anyway, let's get into the tutorial and onto layer one. Uh, oh, quick side note, I forgot to mention, you will need the um, the foundation tutorial done. Um, I know I said this in all the other ones, but it's been a while since I've done one. So yeah, basically the tutorial for this, you need that, and then you need to basically just hollow it out and make it all science stained clay. Uh, but we'll get into that more on layer one. So yeah, let's move on to layer one. Alright, so here's the thing that you need to start with, so it's in a tutorial of its own basically uh, and I'll link that in the description or on screen now, uh, probably description to be honest, uh, I'm not the master of editing, I don't think they do annotations anymore, so yeah, basically, um, yeah, you just need that tutorial and then you just fill it in with cyan stained clay, uh, otherwise you just leave it as it is if you want in an empty stop, uh, socket, but that's not what we're doing today, we're doing the reactor today. Um, so before we begin, quick note, so I know there is a bit of like background echo when I talk and stuff. I think it's because my microphone's on a desk and it always has been. I'm planning on getting a uh, kind of wall mount for it eventually, uh, hopefully within the next few weeks. And so all microphone issues should go. I've also uh, oiled up the chair that I sit on, but I'm planning on just getting a new one that doesn't creak as much. So in terms of audio, it should be crystal clear within the next few weeks, but for now it's just something that I can't avoid because I do want to upload. So, for the first section, obviously you've got this now. This is, uh, obviously as I said, uh, something you need to start with. So it's just a blank template at the minute. So to start it off, you're going to take cyan, sorry not cyan, uh, you're going to take white concrete or block of quartz. Doesn't matter which, but whichever you choose, you want to use that one for the rest of the uh, video basically. So I'm going to go with block of quartz since that's what I used originally. Um, in the other one, I think I think the reactor or some uh, not reactor uh, supply pad. <laughs> getting confused today. In the supply pad, I think I switched out to concrete, but yeah, I'm going to use quartz here today. Really doesn't matter which you use. Um, and to be fair, if you use like quartz on this one and uh, concrete on a different build, doesn't really matter because uh, it just looks quite similar anyway. Uh, so yeah, you're going to start off in the bottom left-hand corner. This is where the ramp is. Uh, there are a few blocks missing off here actually uh, that I forgot to transfer over. I think it's just those. Uh, but whatever. Something like that, anyway. <laughs> anyway, so come to the bo uh, bottom left hand side and it's just here. And you're going to do two, and then two, and then two. Uh, the reason there's a bit of a lag, by the way, is because we're on the old Halo world and there is a massive frigate up there. That's the uh, new one, by the way, not the old one. Uh, so it is lagging a bit. 
uh, but I did want to kind of throw it back, do this tutorial on the Halo world because uh, this is where it started, so yeah. You're then going to do two blocks here, delete those and fill those in with quartz, and then you're going to go straight up towards the back right hand side. And you're going to take that all the way to there, and then stop and just bring it back, fill that in. Okay? And then just at a corner to it, to the left, do one more quartz block like that. And once you've done that, that's literally it for this layer, so let's move on to layer two. Alright, so for the next layer, I'm actually being really awkward and I've moved the uh, the build to the, uh, well, to a different world, basically, to fix that lag issue. Uh, but yeah, so for this next layer, you don't need these materials, I don't know why they're in there. Uh, you basically need your colour of choice in terms of your green, so it's either lime or green stained clay or green concrete. Uh, you also need stone brick stairs, you need stone brick slabs. You need cyan stained clay or grey concrete, whichever works for you. You also need uh, light blue terracotta. However, I'm going to switch that out for blue concrete here. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I fixed the uh, ramp thing. Because uh, basically when I put the uh, schematic for this uh, empty socket down, uh, I always end up leaving off this top layer with those slabs and this ramp. And it's annoying because I always forget it in the video. But yeah, uh, you're going to start off by doing stone brick stairs just here. You're going to do one like that at a corner on the left hand side of the front of the build. Then two green behind it, like so. And then a sideways stair, and then a corner one, just like that. Okay. Next up, take your stairs again. You're going to do one just here. Then a cyan stained clay behind it. And then go back another three blocks. So one, two, three. So you get four cyan in total. And then two cyan here on the left hand side at the front. And then do a green concrete or terracotta or whatever. Just there times one. And then two there like that. Okay. Next up take your cyan again. And you're going to do three. 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 Basically just do three every time. And you're going to go all the way across like that. And then go two more like that. This time you're going to do four. Then three and three again, and then four, and then three again, three again, three again, and then four, and then four again. This time you're gonna jump down two and do one, two, three there like that. Then do two here, and then one, two, three like that. So you should get this, if you wanna pause that, that's cool. So yeah, just that. Next up, you just take your three, and you're going to continue this all the way along, uh, right up until there, basically. So just like that. Next up, take your stone brick stairs, you're going to do one here and one here, and then you take your blue concrete and do two and two, like that. Okay. Next up, you want to take your uh, green terracotta. And you're just going to do two here like that. And then when you cyan, you're going to go one row all the way down like that. And it should join up there. And then this one should join up just at a perfect right angle with uh, what we just did before. So like that, basically. Next up, take your green terracotta. You're just going to do a row all the way down, joining up with that one we just did before. Like so. Then go to here, do two more and then one there, and then bring, bring this one down, sorry. <coughs> My throat's quite sore, sadly. Just like that. Okay, then take your uh, green again. You're gonna leave a gap of one, two, three, four, five. I think that's five anyway. Pretty sure it is. Like that. Looks like five to me. Yeah, cool. Uh, we will need to make a change in a minute, so uh, yeah, just be wary of that. You want to do two there to join that up and then bring this all the way across to there and then do two, three, four, five and then do one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, like that. And then just do one here like so, uh, a diagonal to what we just did with the seven. Now, from this point downwards, just delete that to there. So you should get this, hopefully, if you've done that right. So yeah, um, I mean that's pretty much it for that bit, so let's move on to this back area. You're going to go to here, 
do green all the way across. Uh, and this is going to go up to, bear with me, uh, there. And then do a one at a corner there, and then two down, two down again. And then this is just going to go and join up right at the start here with those two. And yeah, uh, once you've done that, I think that's everything for that layer. So let's move on to layer three. Okay, so for layer three, you're going to start off with your blue concrete. And I think this is the last time you need it. So you just do two there like that. And then throw that away. You want to get out uh, the block of stone and green... Uh, I was going to say green wool, but kind of lame. Uh, yeah, just go for green wool. Um, looks alright, to be honest. Uh, and then block of quartz as well. Just there. Uh, what else do we need? Stone slab. Grab that. And yeah, cool. So let's start this off. Green terracotta, you're going to do one here. And then this is just going to go all the way around to the back. And just do the same thing as last time. So two there, two there, one there. And then this goes all the way across. Uh, and this actually joins up right at the end. Uh, over, bear with me. Over here. Right there. Okay, so you're going to take your cyan and you're going to do cyan uh, all the way down. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where, so we're just going to stop it just uh, here. There, sorry. And then bring that all the way back. May need to delete some in a minute, but we'll see. Okay, so you're going to take your green terracotta and you're basically just going to do uh, over this layer here. Go around, obviously do the same thing as you can see. Uh, in order to double it up, basically. Like so. So yeah, you should end up with that. Uh, you don't do it on this back section, because on this back section you're going to take cyan and fill that in. Uh, like so. There we go. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I said you need to delete some, so basically just delete that one there, and then these ones are going to become stairs, like that. Okay. So take your uh, green wall now, you're going to do two here, and then two to the right, two down, two down, two down. You'll see a cobblestone wall real quick. Uh, grab that, put that there. Take your quartz block, put those two there like that. Then take your stone slab, do one, two, three, four, five, six, with two cobblestone walls in the middle like so. Okay, cool. Next up, take your stone brick stairs, and you're going to do a row of these across, and this is just going to join up with uh, with the thing over here so just there like that okay now you're gonna leave a gap of three delete this one put a stone there leave a gap of three delete that one put a stone there and then five stone to join them up just like that then do a stone in the middle stone brick stairs on either side and then take your stone brick slabs do one two three and then one there like that and it should just go on top of that uh, green stained clay we did before okay Next up, take your stone again. Uh, there's going to be a lot of filling in in a minute, but I'm going to skip past that. So yeah, basically take your stone and you're going to leave a gap of one here. This is facing towards the front. Do three stone like that. And then you're going to do, I'm going to do this in a really awkward way, but you're going to do four stone brick slabs there and then four stone to bring that up to there and four stone uh, to bring that up to there. Then do two sets of three like that. And then you're going to do one, two, and then go down one, and then also one there, and a stone brick slab in the middle. So now, basically anything else on this layer needs to be filled in. I'm going to do up to here, uh, but then literally the rest needs to be completely filled. So yeah, going to be a, a bit of a task. And I'm going to skip ahead after I've done this a little bit, but it's just filling it in with science thing clay, basically. Uh, like so. Uh, so I've done that bit now. Uh, and I guess I'll do this bit just to show you where uh, whereabouts we need to do it. So yeah, basically that area there, you don't need to do that bit inside that green box, but all this needs to be filled in. All this area here, around to there, and all the way around here needs to be filled in with sign stained clay. So I'm going to do that and I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, so that's now filled in. We can move on to the next layer. So, let's start this off by going to the front left hand side and just doing the same thing here again as we did last time. 
uh, just going around. Uh, there isn't much filling in on this one. There is a bit, but not too much. It's not too bad. And yeah, just uh, go all around the outside with this uh, green stain clay. And this is going to go all the way to here. Uh, I'm not actually sure it goes from there though, so uh, you'll have to bear with me one minute. Um, I think that goes down by one, two, three. Right. Yeah, now I'm going to have to go back to that in a minute. But here, uh, you just go over this thing again uh, with the same blocks, just like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. This goes all the way down and joins up over here just like so okay oh, actually I can do it from here so basically you got this diagonal here but it's gonna go there so go down by four like so so you should get that next up you're gonna take uh, this is gonna be the start of our actual reactor um, towers so it's gonna be the kind of base for those you're gonna go to this uh, left hand side of the shape that we keep maintaining here and you're gonna go to this top corner block on the left and go down to the third block down and do a stair face into the left hand side of the build then do a cyan and then a stair on either side uh, two stairs on either side actually and then do five cyan here and then a stair there stair there then do seven cyan stair here facing towards the back and facing towards the front so you should have this now and then you're just going to keep doing this uh, just keep getting wider by one and then put in stairs facing that way uh, again wider by one stairs facing that way stairs facing that way uh, and then once you've got basically three stairs facing towards the front and back that's when you know you've done and then you just do here uh, one two three one two three four five six like so and again on the back one two three four five six then basically just fill that in so I'll do it on camera here for this side uh, probably on the other side as well because uh, it is a repeat pattern we do mirror it over in a minute it's basically like two adjoined circles almost uh, which is the base for the for the reactors t uh, towers so you should have this by now and that's just kind of half of what we need to do uh, for other stuff on this layer there's not much uh, go to this green wall section at the front and just do another layer of that with the quartz there like so do a upside down stair here that time uh, and then a cobblestone wall on top of the ones we did before on this side over here uh, we do need our uh, blue concrete again uh, oh actually we can't do that bit yet never mind uh, we need to carry on with this so take your uh, stone brick stairs again you're gonna go in by one here and then in by one again and then two out by one and then basically this is the mirror point so let's finish off this side first so it is symmetrical in both dimensions so it's symmetrical in that way and also in this way uh, so just keep doing what I'm doing basically just copy me um, and I'll show you where the halfway point is where we need to copy over so um, unlike most other copy over things this isn't a kind of one line in the middle that's where you need to copy over from this time we do have two blocks in the middle so it's basically just copying this side so that's the copy side and then let's grab another color so yellow yellow is the side we're copying over onto so anything from that point and then back needs to be copied over to this side um, normally I do this off camera but this time I'm gonna do it on camera just because it is quite confusing so yeah so you're gonna do one two three four five six uh, the reason I stated you know the whole mirror over thing uh, but then also did it on camera is just so that it's a bit easier for you to know what you're doing because I'm not gonna fully explain the block choice and direction here I'm just gonna kind of do it uh, a bit freestyle just so you know kind of um, the basics here uh, yeah so right now I'm just you know doing it quite quickly to try and get out of the way so done the outline now as you can see it's a mirror um, and then it's just a case of filling in now and I'm gonna do this on camera because I'm nice uh, and because the runtime for this one isn't gonna be too long anyway I don't think uh, so I'll keep it 
I'll keep it reasonable and just uh, just do it on camera. It's not going to take too long if I'm fast. Uh, if anyone knows any good Minecraft cinematic cameras, let me know. Uh, what else? What can I say while I'm filling in? Um, Fleet Wars is coming back with a lot more builds. The Charon class frigate was revealed recently, but yeah, we're done now. Anyway, take your blue concrete. You're going to go to this second stair on the left hand side of the bottom of this shape I know that's a lot to take in but yeah one there one there one there one there and then one here like that you're then gonna go to here this left hand side one skip one two three then do a cyan block like so just a two by two just like that okay now you're gonna take your lime concrete oh sorry lime terracotta never mind and you're gonna go up by two and then two there like that a uh, offset of one so just like so if you need a minute to pause that that's completely fine but yeah uh, apart from that though that's it for that layer so let's move on to the next one all right so next layer let's move on uh, you just need to take your lime uh, terracotta again you're gonna put two on top of the ones we did before then two sign on top of the ones we did before like that and again with the blue concrete same rules apply just like so now you can throw the blue concrete and the lime away uh, I don't think you need those again. You may do, but I don't know. I don't think you do. Coming over to here, we're going to do our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 again. And then this goes all the way across. And basically, same rules apply. Just uh, covering up that bit again for this layer. Now, on this one, we do start off the actual towers themselves. So, yeah. Take your green wool and just do the same shape with three, or oh sorry, two block of quartz. And then this time you're gonna put a green terracotta just there like that. Uh, I think that's it for the cobblestone walls as well here, so yeah. Now, we're gonna do a layer around here again, but this time instead of doing green, we're actually gonna do green wool. So this is gonna go five back like so, and then this is gonna go all the way across, just like that. It takes a while to get there, but here we go. And this goes down. And then it goes to there, and then there. And there you go. Okay, now let's start on the cooling towers. So you'll need uh, just polished andesite, I think, is the only new block we need here. So basically, we're going to start off uh, here. You're going to leave a gap of two. Uh, give me a minute. So, okay, you're going to put a cyan there and there, and then stone slabs, one, two, three, then cyan there and there at a corner, and then stone slab, one, two, three, cyan in the middle, and then basically two, and then one, uh, oh, sorry, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, and then one, two, like that. So as you can see, you've got that, you know, nice pattern going around. Leave a gap of two, and then you're gonna do the same circle, um, like so, one, two, I'm doing this in a really awkward way, uh, yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, and yeah. So you should get that now. Uh, now there is some detail to fill in in the middle. You want to take your polished andesite first of all, and you're going to do five on that edge on each side, just like that. And then again, polished andesite on the other reactor. Again, if you only want to do one reactor, uh, you don't need to do like one of these assemblies basically. So yeah. So you should have this now, then you're going to take your stone brick slabs, you're going to do a layer just around the outside like this. So it should be, I think, uh, seven slabs by seven slabs. Then do three here, three here, three here, and three here, with cyan blocks on the outside, and also a circle on the inside like that. Okay, so you should get that. Same thing again in the other reactor. And then one, two, three there, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, 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 and one, and then 
a circle in the middle. And that's going to do it for this layer, so yeah, let's move on to the next one. Alright, so for this next one, you're going to start off by going to here. We're not going to do a block on top, this time we're going to go in by one like that. Then go in by another one and do three, and then three stone, and then this is going to go all the way to the back. Uh, however, this time you're going to go to there, jump in by two, jump in by two again, then do one there, and this is going to go all the way across now. Uh, all the way up to the end, and then go back like that. This one doesn't do that, by the way. That one just goes along there like so. Okay. Next up, take your uh, green concrete, do one, two, three, four, but then two extra like so. Wow. Then do a uh, polished andesite. You're going to grab that, and you're going to do one, two, three here. And then this is going to go all the way to the front, just like so. Then do two there. Well, two in total, just one extra. And one, two, three, four polished andesite. Then do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine blocks like that. Uh, one, two, three, and then two. At an overhang with your polished andesite. Go back again by one, two, three, four. Well, that's five in total, actually. Six, seven, eight. And then two here, and then this is just going to go and join up as usual, like so. Now, just to finish that off, you're going to do that there to fill that in. And then just another row here, like so. We're actually getting quite close to the end now, which is uh, pretty cool. So, yeah. Right. Uh, oh, also, the uh, green wall section, you're just going to do that. Just green wall, and then a stone brick stairs there, like so. Right, let's do some odd bits. So just some stone slabs there like so on all of those. Uh, I already built that by accident. Uh, four concrete there like so. Uh, oh, not concrete, sorry. Uh, Sign terracotta. Ugh, get all my words mixed up today. That's not good. Now, what we do here is this, well, more of the towers. So you're going to do two here and then two on the corners, two there, two on the corners, two there, two on the corners, two there, two on the corners. You get that. Then take stone, one, two, three, four. Take cobblestone wall, one, two, oops, three, four. Same thing here on this side, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You get the idea, I'm not going to keep saying that. Just like so. Uh, stone there, stone there, stone there. And there you go. And then four cobblestone walls. Now here's where the choice is up to you. You can either use block of diamond, which is something I rarely use, but if you want the more visual look, then go for block of diamond in here. However, if you want it to actually light up and be a more alive display, then use sea lantern. The only difference is the uh, cobblestone wall doesn't link up to the sea lantern, but it does with the diamond block. In terms of visual differences, you just get more of a light up there. I think the texture is better on the diamond for what it is in game, but uh, the sea lantern obviously works, so yeah, it's up to you. And yeah, once you've done that though, that's the end of this layer, so let's move on to the next one. Alright, so this time, just uh, grab your stone slabs, and you're going to go to here, do an overhang, and you're going to do four stone slabs like so. Then go back with your green terracotta, up to there. Leave it there for now. Quickly just put uh, four stone slabs on that little thing we made before. Next up, back to here, you're going to do a overhang again. So we're going more indented like so. Uh, once you've done two of those, just carry this all the way to the back. Uh, so yeah, keep going. And then... This time it is going to overhang like so instead of uh, doing that, so yeah. Uh, on top of the reactors, we're just going to do the exact same pattern as we did last time. It is uh, time consuming for sure, but yeah, you know, it's something you kind of have to do. So it, it sucks, but you know. Uh, but I'm going to do it on camera because we are making really good progress with this. So yeah, uh, again, stone on top of the ones we did before, like so. Uh, I am going to keep one reactor active and one reactor, like, non, oh, I don't even know, uh, dormant, I guess. This is more like the dormant reactor, I guess. Actually, they're both kind of like active reactors, but that one's more blue, I guess. This one looks a bit, a bit odd, a bit ill, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, just do another layer of the, uh, the block of choice anyway. Uh, like so. 
There we go. And what else have we got to do? So, going back to here, green terracotta, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then do three polished andesite. This goes all the way to the front and joins up with that and then do four more polished andesite like so. And this just layers on top of what we did before, basically. Uh, so, yeah. And there we go. And literally, that's pretty much everything for that layer. So, yeah. Uh, getting pretty close to finishing now, so pretty cool. Uh, on to the next one. Okay, so for this one, uh, pretty much same thing here. Just go over what we did before with the same uh, blocks here for the reactors themselves, like so. This time though, you're gonna do uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, basically just fill that in like that. And then take your cobblestone walls and you're gonna do three on either side, well, not either side, all four sides, like that. And then take the stone and you're gonna do that in the same place as before. So you should get that now. Same thing again. The art, uh, bleh, what was that? The reactors are really detailed. Uh, I really wanted to get it, you know, looking good up close as well as from a distance. So, yeah, I did put a lot of effort into these, uh, even though they are kind of hidden behind, you know, the walls of the reactor. So, yeah, you should get that. Oh, and I forgot to do this, but simples. Da, da, kind of simple. Da, 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 da. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, next up, grab your green terracotta. This goes across like so. And then do two... Just two this time, polished andesite. Now you also need a block of sandstone here. Uh, and you're gonna replace that seal in now. You're gonna take two green terracotta there, then a smooth sandstone, then three, then a smooth sandstone, then three, smooth sandstone. And then just do one, two, three more, and go to the side, do three polished andesite. Next up, uh, take your green again, and you're gonna do one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. Now on these two here, you're gonna do two stone brick stairs like that. Two smooth sandstone, two green concrete, one there. Why am I saying green concrete? I meant terracotta. Uh, <laughs> smooth sandstone, and then three, and then this goes back as usual, this goes there, and then this just joins up. Pretty simple stuff, and that's actually gonna do it for that layer, so let's move on to the next one. Alright, so uh, we're getting kind of like halfway done with the reactors now. The reactors themselves are kind of the m most of the rest of this video. The last thing to do is finish off this uh, kind of, I don't know what it is, control room. Probably is a control room, but obviously there's nothing in there, so yeah, sucks. You need a green carpet, first of all, and you're gonna basically just line the outside of this uh, control room with the green carpets, uh, just like so. So yeah. Just gonna go all the way around. No breaks in it or anything. Just green carpet for life. I like that. Now you're then gonna take your lime stain clay and you're gonna throw that just there. And then this is then gonna go all the way around uh, like so. Uh, with a break there. This is where we do two green terracotta and then the lime just carries on all the way down and then rejoins up with the one over on this side, like so. Now, you're gonna do three sets of green there, and once you've done three in total, you're gonna do stairs one, two, three, and four, and then the rest is just gonna be green to fill this in, like that. Cool. Now, uh, once that's done, there's one little more section on top, but not really important, it's not difficult. Next up, you're gonna take your stone uh, brick stairs and also block of stone. You're gonna put the stair on the thing there and then the stone in the middle and one there like that. Now, it is a bit complicated here, so stone there, then a stair, and then a stair facing that way. Stone, stair, stone, stair. Stone, uh, I'm gonna go right, yeah. Stone there, stair there, stair there. Stone here. You might get in the picture by now. Um, just 
like this and you'll see the com uh, completed thing in a minute. Uh, oh no, I put that in the wrong place. There we go. That's there, that's there. One there, one here, one, one, one there. So you should get that basically. Then do stone on all four sides. And then cyan, one, two, three, four. And then just in the gaps, you're gonna use your block of choice again um, to light it up. So one, two, three, four. And you can fill that middle one if you want to, just like that. Same thing again on this side. Uh, so I'm gonna do the stairs first. Uh, it's probably a much easier way uh, to do this. Uh, actually, I'm doing this way faster this time. So that goes, what, there, and there, there, and then there, and there, 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 and there, there. Pretty simple, um, if you do it the right way. So. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, there we go. Cool. And then on this one again, same thing with the uh, block of choice. So obviously on this one, I've used diamond. On the other one, I used a sea lantern. Doesn't really make a difference which you use. Depends on what aesthetic you're going for. And there we go. And that's going to be it for that layer. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, this layer is pretty simple. You want to grab your cobblestone wall. And you're going to start there right at the back. And bring this all the way uh, up to the front. So just to there. Now leave that last block off and you're going to take your stone brick slabs and you're going to do uh, one, two, three, four, five of those. One, two, three, four, five, like so. Now take uh, black wool or you can take black concrete, which I'm going to use this time because uh, wool is a bit eh of a material. So yeah, black concrete uh, and you're going to leave a gap of one and just do one, two, three, four, like so. One, two, three, four again. One, two, three, four again. Then do a gap of one and do three, and then four, then four again, uh, four again, like that, and then just two here with a stone brick stairs there, like so. Okay. Now for the reactors, you're gonna do uh, stair there, stair there, stair there, stair there. Then do five stone behind it and a corner one. And again, five stone, corner one, five stone, corner one. You get the idea, all right? I'm not going to keep saying the same thing again. Like that. Then grab stone slabs, which, where are they? There we go. Stone slab, one on each corner. And then one in a corner from that. And then just take your cyan stain clay and fill that middle bit in like that. Okay, same thing again on the other reactor, obviously. Uh, one on each side, then five stone. Du -du -du. Takes a while to do, I know, but still. One there, one, two, three, five. One there, one, two. And yeah, so you get that. Then. Same thing again. Sorry if I'm being quiet, by the way. I'm just trying to get this done as quickly as possible. You don't want to drag it out too long. But yeah, uh, that's basically it for that layer anyway. So let's move on to the, uh, I think the final layer of this section here and then the rest of the reactors. So yeah. All right, so to finish off this bit, let's just do two stone brick slabs there and then one, two, three here and then one there. Then just grab green ter uh, terracotta and you do two there like that, okay? Now, let's finish off these reactors. So, literally, you can throw, uh, let's see, you can throw your green terracotta away. You want to get out lime, though. You do need that. Uh, you can throw away your cobblestone walls. Uh, you can throw away your polished andesite. And also your stone slab. Uh, keep, oh, you can throw away your stairs as well. So keep all these uh, in your inventory. You now need sandstone and also uh, black concrete. So yeah, let me, uh, I'll just reorganize this real quick. Uh, there we go. Grab your sea lantern again, and here we go. Uh, well, you only need a block of diamond or sea lantern depending on what you're using. Or if you're following this exactly and doing one sea lantern and one diamond, then, you know, keep both. 
So, take your stone, first of all, grab that, put one here, one here, and then one there, and then do five on the uh, right and left hand sides, but not on the front and back. So it does become a little bit, you know, like asymmetrical here, but not really. So five here, um, and then one there and one there. Leave those three in the middle for just the front and back, okay? Obviously this is the front and back, so yeah. Same thing again. Uh, one there, one there, one there, and then five on the sides. One there, one there, five on the sides. You get the idea. Uh, in the middle, just do another one of those. Cross shape with your cyan. Then you're going to take your um, black concrete, do one on either side, and a smooth sandstone nimble, like that. And same thing again here, one on either side, sandstone in the middle. This is going to be the uh, reactor symbol, the hazardous symbol kind of. Doesn't look amazing, but it works for the scale. Obviously, if it was a much bigger build, you'd be able to do the uh, hazard symbol a lot better. For the next layer, it's the exact same thing. However, this time the colors are switched around, so it's two sandstone and the black concrete in the middle. So just do that. Like so, and then the uh, stone is exactly the same uh, as last time. So, from this point, I am actually doing all the layers now up until the end of the build. So, yeah, uh, we're on the final stretch. Don't know how long the tutorial is so far, but hopefully it's under an hour. Uh, but we'll see when I get to uh, editing. Next up, uh, this layer is going to be pretty much the same, however, it is a fill layer. So this is the same with the black concrete. This stone is the same all the way around. Um, basically just the same layer uh, up until now. Just keep keep doing it as the same layer basically. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Pretty simple stuff. Obviously the build isn't difficult now. You can relax. It's just a case of uh, following the instructions. Very simple. However on this one that we've just done um, Oh, did I do that on this one? No, I didn't. You also got to do that for the last layer. I forgot to do that. Uh, so for this one, basically you just want to fill this in now with your cyan, but you also need blue stained glass. So grab that. Uh, and yeah, that's going to go right in the middle, just here. Uh, you can use blue, you can use light blue, doesn't really matter which color of glass you use. You know, I'm actually going to use light blue. Uh, because it matches the color of the sea lantern and diamond a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, it's just a case of filling in. So yeah, here we go. And there you go. Next up, uh, grab your lime terracotta. You're going to do three, one, one, and then three, one, one, three. You get the idea. So like that, again, same thing, three, one, one, three, one, one. And just do that all the way around, like so. Now take your uh, respective color, so block of diamond or the sea lantern, and you're gonna go around the edge and just line that up like so. So for that one, obviously block of diamond, for this one, sea lantern, like that. Now grab your blue stained glass again and you're just going to fill that in, uh, like so. Just fill every single block here, basically. Just like that. Now for the final layer, um, basically just the same thing. Well no, I'm joking, it's not. Uh, and it's not even final layer technically. Um, in fact, give me one minute, I'm going to quickly jump cut to uh, quickly recheck this. One minute. Alright, just grab your cyan, and you're going to do three there, and basically just line the whole thing with uh, cyan. So, yeah. Now, on the corner blocks, do two more cyan. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Just like so. Only on the corners, though, not on the, uh, on, not on the straights. So, like so. Just like that. Then take your stone brick slabs, you're going to do one on either side of the straight edges, like that. Oops. 
and there we go. Then uh, finally for this bit, just take, so this is quite difficult, well not difficult, but weird in terms of its design. You're going to basically do this across there and then there as well, so like make a cross shape and do one, two, three, one, two, three at a corner with it on either side, or on all four sides, sorry. But then you're gonna then take uh, blue, light blue stained glass paint, and you're gonna just fill those gaps in there with that, like so. Now this works for the uh, sea lantern very well because you can actually, I think, it, I think the light goes through that. I think it does, I'm not sure, uh, but yeah. But you can see the light anyway, which is good. Uh, same thing again on the other side. Just like so. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, wait. No, that one. There we go. All right. So, uh, what else have we got to do? So, finally, the last thing is just kind of the uh, spire in the middle. So it's just two uh, light blue blocks and then two glass panes and then surround the bottom of it with glass panes as well, uh, just on that first layer. Same thing again here, uh, one, two in the middle, two there, and then there we go. And once you've done that, that is the uh, reactor done for the Firebase series. So last up will be the air pad, but that will be in a few weeks probably. But yeah, we're one step closer to finishing off that series. So yeah guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much, goodbye.